Welcome. Welcome to 555. It's always good to get some water and drink a lot of water during our entire journey. And I like to recommend an essential oil. I'm going to use Joy Young Living. And we'll just wait a little bit longer. But we can begin to come into group consciousness. Can you hear me? I okay. can hear you. Hi, Kate. Hello, welcome. So we're just gonna wait a few minutes, one more minute. So here we are, five o'clock Eastern Standard Time on our five, five gateway activation. And this is a Stargate portal to the universal one, right? I'm very excited to be here with you. My name is Anjalia Marisa Sheehan, Anjalia Kate Loy, your favorite cosmic shaman. And it's always my great honor to be leading these gateways because I'm a gatekeeper. And I feel that it's a responsibility of my keepership to kind of herald in this walkway through the gateways where we're going to be marrying the dark and the light, the masculine, the feminine, the above, the below, the shadow, all those aspects of ours that are ready and willing to move out so that we become much more um, grounded in our five dimensions, in our six dimensions, in our seven dimensions. Wherever you are, that's where we're going and we're gonna be going there together. And the exciting part of this work is that as a seer and a master seer, I have this ability to see images and it took me a great, deal of time to understand that it's not just being a creative artist that I see things. It is that these images are brought from source or God or the masters working with us on our journeys and in our privates. And these images guide this way. And because I'm also working with source energy, source frequency, it turns out, it's exciting to know, but there's a way of um, my shamanistic way is that I symbiotically connect with you and the synergy of our group consciousness, we all begin to kind of feed and listen to this highest frequency that we bring through in this portal. 
And what this does is experientially um, ignite within each one of you and within your souls. And so that you begin to awaken more and more. And um, this is my goal and my job and my honor is to help awaken. And as the group consciousness of our new earth tribe that we're building, that we're taking each time we go and do these, these gateway journeys or the teachings, we're building planetary service and planetary consciousness because those of you that are here, as you know, you, some of you may know me, some of you may not, but those that do know me, usually your seers, your seekers, your star seeds, your way showers, your light workers, you're here to do something and make a difference. And my job is to help you do that. And these portals open up this vortex that brings through the highest capacity for us to let go, transmute, transform, and build ourselves anew, because basically that's what we're doing. So I'm going to speak a little bit about the 555 gateway, what the 55 is about. Also a little bit about the rainbow seeds teaching that's coming up that you might want to be involved in. It's seven modules and seven ascended masters teaching seven core teachings, seven activations, seven initiations. And the rainbow seeds are like the seeds of miracle that are inside of you and will help you in a group consciousness, learn to activate your higher self and channel right from your own answers. So you're independent. And the whole idea is to become sovereign because basically we are the messengers of source, of Christ, of Yeshua. And the Christ said, I am that we are. So as difficult as this is, it's really a lot of fun, especially with the way I work. I really want us to have fun. So I will be doing light language with overlays also. So 555 is just coming out of the WESAC time period, which was the birth, the time of enlightenment and the death of the Buddha. What an amazing being that he could align all those three important dates, right? And during the WESAC, we're, we as humanity are flooded with this beneficial light from the Buddha from Kuan Yin and we did a beautiful Buddha um, activation that's in my YouTube channel or also on my website in offerings. And it's still active for you. So we're in the fifth month, the fifth day, and it's a, a five year because two plus two plus one equals five. And so this is an auspicious stargate that's bringing us to this ascension gateway and gives us this combination code that's going to unlock our original destiny for the earth and for ourselves as humanity. And those of us that are here working together, we're a surrogate for the rest of humanity. So thank you for your planetary service and for your own service, because it's the work we do for ourselves first and foremost, and then we share it as we do in everything. We share it with all around us. So we'll be initiating and setting up for the, these important changes that are ahead of us. And we're being promised, as much as it seems difficult right now, these, this whole cosmology and astrology is gonna move us into more and more enlightened energies. And something that's very encouraging is that we have fully come into the what's called the golden Aquarian age of enlightenment. So we're, we can't help but move into enlightenment, no matter what things are trying to stand in our way. We're being supported by all the divine beings, the ships of light, Gaia, the creation mothers, the inner earth beings. Everyone is here working in this. This is a group planetary universal project, believe it or not, it's not a personal one. Um, so those that are, are way showers are going to be releasing old karmic shadow aspects of separation so that we'll be moving into liberation from these lower aspects and duality. And you may have felt with this Scorpio moon, that's the kind of shadowy full moon that just passed, a lot of those dissonances and um, intolerances and irritabilities and kind of 
fearfulness or you might have had body um, physical issues going up or showing up. And those are all part of really like this whole going into the inner world and working through all the underworld and the lower aspects. And it's, it's, these are things also, also from the fall of humanity in the Luciferian experiment. And again, we are as humans and as this planet, we're in evolution. We are in creation in change. And my keepership is keeper of the Christ gateways of creation. So I work in creation and something it's really important to realize is that change is inevitable. Change is important. Change may be uncomfortable, but it's here. And so understanding and becoming that inner shaman that is trusting, which is really like an artist. An artist has to stand up to be that creative person and trust and go into their own private Idaho and make things happen. And that's how we are as humans and each one of us. So we will be releasing and purging in preparation for this freedom sphere of the 555 star gateway. And there's an upcoming eclipse season. And eclipses are awesome. Uh, they're awesome for change and they're also difficult. Um, and so it's really important to remember that this is something that will be changing, right? It's like that these things are in the astrology and in the cosmology. And it's, it's, um, it's good to just laugh at them sometimes and keep a good sense of humor. So there's going to be this, these this triple stargate coming up, 5-5 five, five today, 5-14, five, 5-23, with energies that are going to build until this upcoming super, super moon and total lunar eclipse in Sagittarius on May 26. So it's not very far away. And Sagittarius is very adventuresome. So expe expect adventure. <laughs> we'll be releasing old karma and resolutions of to become more united and the higher self more able to self-liberate and to know yourself as one. So this is a core issue it, that we go through with each one of our journeys and with each one of our privates or with teacher teachings is this ini activation initiation and then finding from inside your new belief, your new consciousness. That's what we're looking for. And hopefully these are going to empower you. And so that's why using the light language, which is a multidimensional uh, language that they're just telling me right now, assists your growth because it's that coded DNA that we're gonna be looking to genetically awaken with your Adam Cadman DNA. It's gonna change you. And it's this matrix from within that you already have. And there's another comforting thought to think about that these codes, this Adam Cadman, that's this original human code is the new human basically, that we have this second chance in this golden age of Aquarius and that we're going for it, right? And nobody is going to stop us and we are going to just accelerate and excel, live a life that is full of beauty, happiness, compassion, forgiveness, awakening, and communion, I call it. A communion is what we're looking for. So we're gonna be working with these original blueprints today and our authentic golden DNA. I just love our golden DNA and it's so yummy. And even anything that's in the shadow, it all wants to go to the golden DNA, the golden eternal realms within us. So don't, don't, don't you worry. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'm just going to totally go into this space and let's see who comes as we build our group Merkaba with Lord Metatron. So let's take a deep breath in beloved ones. And just allow yourself an inner smile. And let us send our heart beams out to one another and all those that will be listening to this throughout time, space, and dimension. 
as we begin to call and open our heart portal, our circular council, just breathing in and breathing out. And I always like to share the alchemy breath. That's this breath that each time you work, and especially with me, your inhale is inhaling into who you are. Your Christ and I am this flame that is you, that's your eternal signature and has like a power letter, power number, or a fire letter, a yod on it. And this is your strength, your eternal strength, your eternal pre preciousness, your eternal seed and this innocence, pure heart that you are. So you're breathing into who you are and you're breathing out that which you are not. So anytime we move through the shadow or the lower aspects and you'll feel them in your body. If you're somebody who's a sensitive like we all are, or you may emote or cry or yawn or burp, but you're gonna feel it. You might find in the different chakras like these systems of stuck feeling, breathe into it. It's a T, it's a key, it's a tool that says, okay, are you me? Do I believe in you? And you can go to your breath and you go, I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. And that's gonna free you. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a cosmic tool, put in your cosmic tool kit. Alrighty, so let's go back to our flame, to our breath, to this portal that we're opening. And as we're working, we're calling in the Holy Mother's Great Mothers. We're calling in the Holy Father's Great Fathers, Creator, Great Creator, all that there is. Mother, Father, God, Goddess, Gaia, Sophia, Divine Child, we call upon you as we call upon your higher self and your divine presence, we call upon your lineage and your original earth guardian lineage, your magical beings, your inner earth, middle earth beings. We call upon the angels, the archangels, the seven earth archangels, the six Archangels, Archangel Mikiel, Archangel Raphael, Gabriel, Jophiel, Kamuel, Uriel, and Zadkiel to open and create the seven pointed star around us. It's as you breathe in and out as your Merkaba. We call in Master Lord Metatron to build our Merkaba, our personal and group Merkaba, as we also call in the ascended masters and counterparts that are overlighting our journey. We call in the Ashtar, the ships of light, the galactic councils. The karmic board. As we take one more breath, drink a little water. And Lord Metatron begins to build You may begin to feel the energy shape shifting as the geometries good are coming in together. And there's a lot of silver, platinum rays of light building the centermost part of our Merkaba. The Lord Metatron guides you to the star in your heart. It is a very bright star that is you. 
And it's been here many, many lifetimes, many star lifetimes, many other planets, other dimensions and galaxies, universes. Just breathing and stoking that star and that connection to who you are as your lineage of awakenment, your lineage of access that this embodiment program is all about, beloved ones. Beautiful. Feeling now in the lower part of your lower legs. as Metatron and Melchizedek, Archangel Uriel, and Jophiel. Create the top of our Merkaba, and the more heavenly dimensions, uh, Breathing into your pillar of light now. Good. It's opening up this great shaft of light that you are. And bringing that pillar inward in into the center of you, not in front of you. Into the center. More to the back of the heart. Like a giant selenite pillar. As we ask our pillar to expand, expand, expand. Six feet in all dimensions around your heart. Six feet in front of the Venusian, the love gateway. Six feet behind in the wisdom and the truth gateway. Six feet to the left, to the feminine gateway. Six feet to the right, to the masculine gateway. Each time bringing them back into the center flame that you are stoking, enlivening. As we go now to above you, to the Andromedan, to the higher gateway to the solar temples of light up into the central sun, the great central sun and the great, great central sun, opening those doorways, the solar Holy Father, the knowledge of who you are through all time, space and dimension and accessing these galactic centers, the codes they carry through this matrix that shines now down upon you through this 555 gateway. Opening up these doorways of knowingness of who you are Releasing the sleepiness. As they move down through the Antakarana, comes down through the chakras, through the soul star with this light from the solar fathers, through the crown, through the brow, the Antakarana staircase, through the throat, through the heart, through the thymus above the heart, through the heart, the back and the front, the left and the right. Down through this light goes through the solar plexus, through the navel, the hara, through 
through the will center, opening the will to accept divine will as thy will, through the sacrum and the creation chakras, the control release chakras, into the sacrum, into the womb of dreaming, into the Amrita gateway, the Yan and Nagi birthing portal, and the collapsing of the false matrix, bringing the knowing of the truth of you, your blueprint, your DNA through the sacrum of creation that you are to manifest through the perineum, the root chakra and the base of the spine, releasing any carbon so that the spine and the root chakra create this horse's tail root system going through your lower chakras, through the inner earth, the middle earth, through the link chakra, the knees, calling to Mother Gaia to help you, allow these roots to move deeper, even as if they become serpents now and they know how to move through the earth. Even if they're blind, they know the way, allowing them, there we go, Ooh, very big change, excellent. Allowing to move down through the inner knowing that is within you, through the roots that you are, into making this larger dynamic golden pyramid around us now that anchors into the world you are in Beautiful, creating this golden pyramid of protection and honor. This is an honoring ceremony. We move these root systems and all the light with it. Going down, down, down. Down into the mother we go, down into the mother we go, down into the mother we go. Ujanarete, Guma Chadurete, Guma Jahre, Zuzuli, Muyu, Guja, Guja, Yeme, Gaije, Muyu, Guyu, Zuju. Inside the Mother Earth, ho he he ma ha yene, ho he he ma he na haolane. She opens a doorway, Mother Gaia Ma. And a great softness comes to you as you breathe deeply the softness begins to fill a void a place that previously felt a lack a longing or a fear A great ship of light now joins us as we are building our personal Merkabas. There's a shining light from above into specific places, every portal where you are, piercing like a giant light acupuncture point into your own portal in the land that you keep in the privilege of your earthly life. 
Mother Gaia opens this soft doorway, inviting, inviting this voidal cloud as she opens and embraces you. We will journey with some voidal worlds of light language. Do not be afraid, my darling ones. This is a soft, loving cloud. Dissidence arises, negligence and obstinance, stubbornness and willfulness, all plaguing you with nightmares of dishonor, hoi her and the shame and disrespect or hinel, so hue, so hue, so hue. Mother Gaia says, you are so many hues, so many colors you see. You are only multicolored, not only black and white. She begins to spread her great arms of love around you as the light is brought forward and inside this great cushion like a pastry we don't know exactly the outcome as this is an experiential cream puff we'll call it this cream puff has the intention as it begins to glow of a miracle. And inside you becomes activated. The idea, a miracle. And that inner guiding tickle, champagne, Hmm, possibly I, I too have a miracle. She says, yes, as she bows her head. Now you're understanding. You're beginning to realize what the shift is all about. Rehesalote, to salute yourself. Auhi, release yourself. Sasa through love and kindness. Ru chu chu through light. Re allowed through to you. I hey that you yes indeed have this power. It has never successfully been taken away. We are here with a shh secret, a key, a code that activates your will with divine will. And breathe in right at the nose, right at the point of cosmic consciousness. 
that you indeed are your own gatekeeper. Lord Metatron brings a diamond now right to that same place at the top of the nose. The cosmic point of consciousness, a diamond in this diamond that turns also into a sapphire begins to move into that cosmic point of consciousness, opening up a vast array of libraries that you in previous incarnations have known or had access to beloved ones. And some of you are indeed librarians and keepers of the knowledge star seeded for this very purpose. That some of you are beginning to become aware secretly that you have a calling and you are being called. This is the truth of you. Arhilare a realization. Breathe into this activation now as your throat chakra begins to vibrate violet. And Saint Germain joins us. the violet crystal ball right in your throat chakra and it moves out through the receptivity and the transmission chakras at the left and the right ears it opens up the worlds of communion communication telepathy as the new dimensions are telepathic and transformational as we move out of the density we'll move more into the prime directive of the great divine director who joins us, opens a tablet, a ledger, and moves aside many pages As he stands before you and gives you this open page of a ledger, this ledger that is for you and receive this upload, this download through yourselves, through your inner knowing into your heart, to the matrix of you. And as you begin to stand for the greater purpose now in the light that you are, that is being flooded and activated, receiving, receptive to the great divine director's ledger of opened page of your blueprint, your accumulated wisdom. And purpose. Be the blank slate. 
and feel the sensation of true purpose in the nothingness and the emptiness of the now moment of the blank slate. And that the ego can let go of that search or the fear that this is so delicious. The all that is here, the flame that is being stoked, the surrender to the present. Giving way to this innervation that has the zero point as Lendus now brings the eternal figure eight moving through your throat chakra of the zero point the empty fullness, the open to the new beginning. Letting this synchronize with your own looping, with your mind, with your beliefs that you are sinking this figure eight into the sinking into your purpose, divine purpose, divine plan. And that it's easy. And that you don't have to find your way as much as release, let go. and allow and find the greater trust in the enlivening of this momentary cycle that gives you a sense of potential and birth, creation, regeneration. Metatron now brings two circles, creating a Vescia Pisces, and the seed is over your own face. But it begins to build and enhance your own energy, your own physical forces, the, your fluids in your body building a new type of interactive synergy that in the center of it has this seed, this rainbow seed of creation, this purpose, this system, this sense of care as Mother Gaia comes back now and opens up a new veil wall of the cosmos to look at as we bring ourselves into this new system. that we can begin to find ourselves as a star in the starry sky and send our heart beams out to that star and feel this star connection, this starry 
reunion, the starry home. And you may all be going to a different star or a different star system. And it's this finding from inside of you that they're showing you is the way. That you are already set up to find your way. You're a cosmic shaman. You've come through many lifetimes. Why would this be any different? You chose this and for a reason. It's not a mistake. So call from your inner knowing, from your heart, from that star that Metatron gave you and look and to find something that you were looking for, something that is lost in that star, something that you want to call back. It could be your star parents, your star tribe, your star family. It could be a star partner. It could be an empowerment that you hid on that planet until the right time for safekeeping. And that you may want to call that back now to use it in your toolkit your shaman's bag into your heart. And just allowing now this star being, this star child, it might be this very small child This star sprite it feels like a novice, an innocent, an ingenue, so pure, unformed. And ready for something new, something unexpected something brilliant. So breathe into your own star and your own heart and stoke this star sprite. As Lord Metatron showers you with radiance and starlight all around you, radiating bars of light from your sprite. You may want to pump with your own hand to ignite, to activate, to stoke this sprite, this flame, this star, Being. And as we look into the eyes of the star being, it is like it holds the cosmos, it holds the new earth. And in the eyes of this being lies your puzzle piece. Breathe in. Excellent work. Looking deeply into this innocence. It is full of clarity. 
full of God's source. Unfettered. It is here to stoke you, to warm you, to access this higher state of union It is so confident, so assured, so happy, so carefree, so resilient. That anything, anything, anything can go. Let it be, it says, let it be. Let it be me. As now many silver threads light particles begin to filter through the air around you. Softening all that you are. As now the downward turning triangle of silver light comes into the upward triangle of golden light from below. And creates almost like a time hourglass of sand and it begins to radiate and pulsate as Holy Mother, Mother Mary expands this triangle interlacing itself to the sides now out, out, out to the sides. <sighs> and this Merkaba Sri Yantra begins to build above and below, expanding, expanding above and below, out, out, out. From Metatron. And the sides expand like an accordion with the top and the bottom expanding. And they begin to breathe and expand like an accordion. A Sharuti box playing harmonics. As a sense of aliveness in this sacred geometry in this ability to breathe, expand, radiate outwards and upwards and downwards in gradations, in the expansiveness of your higher self, your divine presence, your earth nature. Buh. Buh. As this vast mother principle, feminine principle, Ugh. it had previous collapsed as 
embracing, returning, moving around you once more. In that voidal pillow. Things may be just pouring out of your chakras or out of different parts of your body, orifices. Things are letting go. Old dark serpents or oil. Issues or past indiscretions. (coughs) 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 Purging. And if you have to purge it, go for it. (coughs) Purge for yourself, for all humanity. Release the shadow, they say. Resume (laughs) who you are. Let go of all inner prisons. They cannot keep you any longer. All anger. Battle, fighting, polarity and dissidence. (laughs) All earth dishevelment, fires and disasters. <laughs> Shape shifting out of your field as now the field begins to <clears throat> move into circle upon circle upon circle of the seed of life, the flower of life, in many different shapes and formats in different colors and opalescence and pearlescences. <laughs> Opening up something intangible. <laughs> Breathe into your stomach, <laughs> into your hara. <laughs> Is this mother principle who knows you, who loves you, how you are, and whatever you have done? That all the mothers all the loving mothers. of all dimensions. Bring that mother principle, that attunement to the progeny, to the purposefulness of this genome, this atom. this miracle and then right before you is this incredible Adam Cadman that you are that is being washed, purified, shape shifted. As Saint Germain Merlin and Lady Portia 
are here with the mothers and the mothers of creation. It's now serpents of rainbow serpents of creation. Begin to weave through the circles, the spheres that begin to illuminate this five, five, five consciousness. that this human genome is here to balance, to shed all separation, to see and know itself in reflection in loving care and honor, forgiveness. Let each seed begets the next seed. And the cycle begins again, anew, afresh. As a baby embryo comes now before us, before you, beautiful translucent baby embryo of many colors, a rainbow embryo, allowing the wonder of creation to enter into this embryo, into you as its mother, as its father, as its creator. As we ask the mothers now to sing in late language, a song for this embryo that this embryo may wake up. Ooh, ma la ma ma my child. Ooh, ma la do you you you. Ma ru
the sun caresses you. tiny embryo all pure expectant potential rainbow potential you are Now bring this baby, this embryo into your own arms as a great mother that you are. Allowing the simple ecstatic reunion the peace and the purity, the perfection of this three sphere connection, the Holy Trinity. The mother, father, child. Bringing this in, this three fold circles into your own heart as past calamities collide, fall to the floor around you. A great gateway appears before us. The doors open with grace, ease, and joy. White clouds before us with a silver lining. Pegasus comes now out of the clouds, flying towards us. A 
because we have now become a group Merkaba as well as our own Merkaba. And beautiful golden cords are around our Merkaba and Pegasus takes us away up into the clouds. to the lands of Shambhala in the Himalaya, to the promised land, Shangri-La, Nirvana. And we're taken to a beautiful temple in the clouds with great columns of light and a dome-like roof that has clouds that are real on the inside, but it has a sense of architecture and glyphs on all of the columns. And so as we all <clears throat> exit out of our group Merkaba. Pegasus takes us with Metatron to the steps of this temple and let us bow our heads and ask permission of the guardians there. Would they let us enter to finish our ceremony? Our five, five gateway ceremony and receive dispensations and gifts from inside the temple. So we look to see the guardians. They are great horse beings on either side that are rearing up on their rear legs, white horse pegasuses. And they are so powerful. Their, their own medicine is a gift in and of itself. So we honor their power and their strength and their purity. And then they bring their legs down to the ground and bend down and honor us. As they see our true intention, our purity of our hearts. And the gateway opens to the temple and Pegasus leads us up with many other beautiful light beings and sprites and elementals. And we go into this great temple where there is a lit slice of a circle that's full of light and in the center of the temple and it holds an invisible globe that you can sense with your sensory ability, your intuitiveness, your empathicness, your telepathy, but it is transparent and it is held and we move all around it. So we are in this sacred circle around this plasma earth globe. And as we begin to ponder this plasma 
globe. And we know it's earth. We know it's all about our beautiful earth. And again, we begin to see a pinpoint that is the place where we each are in our own portals and vortexes. And as we enter into the consciousness of this cosmic globe of the new earth, it's like we are the new earth and we are not separate. It's like we have gone beyond, 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 beyond our physical bodies, beyond all the beings that have come to us in this journey into this plasma consciousness of the earth form of the pure creation potential that is unformed, that is waiting. We begin to hear from our inner knowing, this inner net, this web that we are part of, this flower of life that is radiating through the light form that you are through your body now, surging through you into a universality, a complexity of universal consciousness and awareness that is fueling you and flooding through you and feeding you in a way that is exciting. And it's like the synapses are blasting and the different energies and ideas are moving through every circle around your circuitry. And you are the circuitry of the unformed, newly forming, now forming plasma earth. And all the masters around us are so excited that you are so aware and so awake and that you have transcended to this position. Especially the great divine director. He's very impressed, he says. He says, this is a fine group. And there is a great anchoring now of awareness that the many gifts we've been given in this session are beginning to gel, become cohesive in this unformed and unending and ever forming, ever moving plasma state of creation. And that the light that is flooding in now has the great knowingness, the great encouragement of this Trinity, mother, father, child influence, let's say, elixir. And as we say elixir, Kuan Yin is above us with Lord Buddha. Kuan Yin is pouring elixirs into our higher chakras and they are illuminating us Lord Buddha is beaming, enlightening light beams through our higher chakras that are moving down through all of our chakra system, through the Antakarana that we are bringing through the bridge, the bridge of light, all the way into the earth that we will be creating and manifesting in our ascension pathway. that there is this deep and unabiding acceptance of the great privilege almost a relief that our vastness knows now this experiential teaching and wisdom of the plan that it is in formation. And this allow this liquid elixir and light of enlightenment 
to drink into every cell, into the accomplishments of you and all the many lifetimes, all the great things that you have achieved, all the places of enlightenment, awareness, love, acceptance, the places of honor. We are galvanizing these influences, stoking your own heart now once more as a violet light field around us is created in a diamond form around our entire group. And it's creating this prism like geometry with a point to the top and the point to the bottom, a violet precision, transformation and alchemy. And in the center of it is a ruby It is being formulated in the center of the plasma cosmos, earth. And that ruby is going into each one of yours, thymus chakras. And it's a star ruby. And it's the frequency of the unformed newborn to be born. with the enhanced feminine principle and the enhanced divine masculine. It is the new Adam Cadman that you are embracing inside your own DNA If the DNA strands now appear in the center of your own body, in the center of our field, in our temple, and they are merging and weaving, magnifying, consecrating, igniting, improving, expanding, to higher and higher DNA ribbons to the highest amount that your ascension codes may radiate at at this time. Let these DNA bring in all the harmonics, all the harmonics needed necessary for you to reclaim for you through any veil wall the reunion of the seed of life within you the calibration that you are you came here to be Activating through this initiation into the harmonics, the convergence, this new codex of the unified new you, one human. at love, at peace, at harmony, 
in light. And creation power. It's bringing now this rainbow seed of creation more fully into your own heart. You may put your own arms over in the Egyptian pose, receiving with gratefulness all that we have received, thanking the great masters, Buddha and Kuan Yin and Saint Germain, Lady Portia, Melchizedek, Metatron, Holy Mother, Mother Gaia Ma, Pegasus, and the guardians, the angels, the Ashtar, and each of your presences. It's allowing yourself to feel the knowingness as if you are in your own alive sarcophagus with the inner wisdom of all the ages of your star system, your star nature, your cosmic traveler, your new earth shaman. Just take all that you've received and put it in your heart and in your new earth shaman bag your medicine bundle, as we bow and thank everyone. And we gently move backwards out of the temple, backwards down the stairs in reverence. Pegasus is there to help us onto our group Merkaba, ship of light. We find our seats in the ship we call into the crystal in the center of the ship to take us to our own homes, our own Merkabas of light. With all we've received, our toolkits, our medicine bundles. This glow of the knowing, the union, the return, the access of the keys and the codes needed for this next step. That you will know, it will come forth in divine alignment, in divine truth, in divine will. And let us send all we have received to our beloveds, to the loved ones, to our partners, to our children, to the communities, to the strangers, to the governments, to all the institutions that need to change, to the oceans, all the pollution, to the airs, the winds, the trees, the earth, that all it comes back into right harmonics, unity consciousness and awareness. That we work in our world, in our lives, in our missions from this new place of knowingness with ease, grace and joy that moves through us as leaders, as healers, as teachers, as light showers, as light lenders as compassion beings with kindness that our frequency moves through all density and enlightens and awakens all around us As now all that we've received is now in a beautiful bubble in front of us, a rainbow sphere. And that you can use this and 
pull, pull out of it what you need when you need it. And you can call it in and use this in your rainbow seeds work in your rainbow spiral healing modality that is to come. Blessed be beloved ones. Blessed be you upon your path and for all you do in service to this ascension, to Mother Earth, to your fellow humans, to the children and the babies, the embryos. You are the creator. You are the light. You are the love. Namaste. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be.